Hey there, everybody. Don Evans here for WatchReport.com. And today we're going to be doing a first impressions of the Tom Carter Black Carbon. Give you the overall specs here real quick. As you can see, you have a black carbon fiber dial. The watch is 50 millimeters in width, not counting the large canteen crown. It is about 59 millimeters lug to lug. It has 22 millimeter lug width. It is running a Miyota OS20 quartz chronograph movement. It will come to you on this leather strap. Take a look at the case back here. We'll give you a nice overview of the watch. The black carbon fiber dial is done very nicely. You have the nice contrast of the red sub-second hands for the chronograph. Now, these hands and markers are done... Actually, the hands are done in like a silver, and the markers are done in white. There is no loom applied to this watch. It is just regular paint. This is a sapphire crystal as well. And the price is $360. Now, for those of you who might be wondering, who is Tom Carter? They are a new brand. They are out of uh, Cyprus, which is um, not... Texas, as some people, when I say Cyprus, they're thinking Texas, but a uh, the country, obviously. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, the country is below Turkey. Many, obviously, are going to take a look at this, and uh, there's no other way to say it, uh, that it reminds you of a TW Steel, and uh, that is obviously true. TW Steel is not the only company to have done... Uh, uh, you know, uh, large watches with canteen style cases. So I'm really going to uh, not knock them for that. Um, you know, there's other brands that do this look. What I do think about this watch, uh, my first thoughts on it here, while I really would have liked Loom on here, especially with such a large dial and uh, the, the big markers that they have, if they had applied a bunch of loom, it really would have, you know, probably glown a lot if they used like a good super loom and over or whatever. Hopefully in future models, uh, they will add that to it. Um, but if you like the large uh, cases, 50 millimeter watch, and you like the canteen style crown look, you know, for a Miyota Quartz movement, the sapphire crystal and all, Overall, it has some nice detailing here between brushed and polished finishes. I'm never a huge fan of the, the signing of the side of the case. Um, it isn't super bad. It's not like total. Well, it is kind of noticeable. But um, that's just a personal preference of mine. I'm not a big fan of branding on the sides of cases or anything. But I would say for $360, this isn't a bad deal at all whatsoever. Uh, it has free worldwide, uh, worldwide shipping as well. So you're going to pay $360 flat. The leather strap is very stiff. It, um, it's nice, it, like it's thick. But it is going to require a breaking in period. It is very thick. It does come on a nice custom buckle with very large screws. I'm going to move the box. 
box here out of the way for a minute. One thing I'd like to point out is it's a 50 millimeter case, but that strap is only 22 millimeters. You know, with a watch this big, I just think it would have looked a little better if it was at least 24 millimeters. Let me undo the canteen crown here. Okay. Pull it out. You can set the time. Pretty easy there, no issues. Okay. Start the chronograph here for a minute. That reset button is, you know, in, encapsulated here in the uh, canteen lever. So you kind of got to get your finger in there to uh, undo it. But everything works, uh, you know, as it should. Um, you know, I don't want to, I never like to knock other brands, other competitors, whatever. But I'll say this. If you like the look of this canteen crown and you don't feel like spending seven you know, six, seven hundred dollars for a quartz chronograph movement. This could be a good option for you. Uh, like I said, you know, Miyota quartz movement, sapphire crystal. Of course, you could always change out a leather band. The watch has a pretty good look to it. I like the carbon fiber dial on this. They have other models available as well, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, regular uh, uh, matte dials and such. Um, and I believe this also comes in a rose tone version as well check out the full review at watchreport.com you'll see everything else um you know what oops i forgot to show you a wrist shot so hold on one second as many know who watch my videos i have a seven and a half inch wrist take a look at it on my wrist here If I'm being perfectly honest, it is a little big for my tastes these days. Uh, not too much that I wear a 50 millimeter watch these days. But there are tons of guys that still like a massive watch that really like this look. So while it might not exactly be for me, I know there's going to be a lot of guys out there uh, that like it. See the full review at watchreport.com. There'll be a link in your description below. Also, if you haven't yet, Watch Report now has a forum. Go over and check out the forum, sign up, become a member, post about whatever you would like. And we're also running a giveaway over there, so check that out. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet. You'll never miss another video or a review. This has been Don Evans for watchreport.com giving you a look at the Tom Carter Black Carbon Fiber. Thank you very much.